right y'all so as y'all can see the thumbnail um somebody made a ask the question who suffered the worst defeat now i think we all know the answer to this y'all probably tired of hearing about it you're probably tired of me making videos about it but i gotta keep talking about stuff like this because this is one of the first times ever that people are trying to rewrite history so who suffered the worst defeat it was it's clearly earl spence why because earl spence had a terrence bud crawford who was who wasn't on performance enhancements meaning ryan garcia tested positive for performance enhancements which he's currently suspended until at least what april february april of next year he wasn't in the undisputed game and um you know he's, he's had several meltdowns online Y'all act like he ain't doing them or not. I don't know if y'all got a thing for Ryan. What what exactly is going on? But how can Devin Haney took a defeat when it was removed to a no contest because of Ryan Garcia testing positive? Somebody help me understand that. But see, that's the narrative. People people are obsessed with Ryan Garcia so that bad and hate Devin Haney. You hate the fact that he was undisputed undefeated at 135 pounds and ryan garcia and tank davis never became that you hate the fact that his father was out there being a very um giving a lot of adulation when it comes to his son and um but yet y'all got a problem with that you hate that you want to humble bill haney by getting to Devin haney so what do you do Devin haney gets cheated and then people nobody cares tim bradley don't care and people are saying Devin tripping for suing teddy atlas people are are people are confused on why Devin haney is pushing for this and, and you see it right here now again if Devin haney just took the l we can have a totally different conversation how in the hell did Devin haney take a worse defeat when he didn't take a loss in the ring it's literally on his record if you go look it up on, on box rec right now so we gotta stop man and and, and i'm gonna have to keep making videos when it comes to this i know some of y'all y'all don't you know you thumbs down my videos i didn't lost subscribers for sticking up what's fair when it comes to sports you know but yeah these are the same people who literally have wrote me and wrote, wrote us on my page and say ryan garcia was way drained even though so it was it's only a four pound difference but yet you cry about that but when it comes to Devin haney he's need to shut up and box he need to take a fake l and box you know and, and, and even with that when it came to Earl Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford, at least they fought. They was fighting for undisputed. Ryan Garcia didn't even have a belt. You know, he's a social media champion, TikTok undisputed champion, at 140 pounds. You know, and and it's just sad, man. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. You know, we gotta we gotta stop the the Ryan Garcia maniacs from coming up with these fake narratives. And um, as long as we keep dropping content like this, history will show that when all these casual fans go away because ryan garcia take another l they'll make fun of him like how they did when jerron tank tank davis stopped them history will show that he cheated and don't come on here talking about he didn't he he he, he barely cheated did you cheat or did you not cheat and he failed multiple drug tests a sample b sample and from the new york state athletic commission this is on record so i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think